Get up on your feet. Make some noise. War Green for OKN Stars. Down to turn number one. Stanfield did not get the jump this time. It's Henry Wheeler who leads into turn two. Brandon Carr into the third. Side by side for fourth. Aiden Fox is going to get it. Finn Bailiff will slot to fifth as they head down to turn four. And Wheeler defensive immediately into four. Stanfield's going to fall into the bottom of the track. Car set up wide to get a good run out of the corner. They'll head into the infield hairpin. Still heavily defensive from the front of the field. We have seven drivers all stacked nose to tail on the opening lap as they head through the S's. Yeah, over through the S's and uh, up the hill. Henry Wheeler, Alex Stanfield, oh, a little wide for Finnegan Bailiff. He'll lose some time there as he drops a tire. And look at this as well. Brandon Carr throwing a fade at Aiden Fox. Here comes Brandon Carr. Had a look to the inside. He's watching his championship hopes drive away from him. So he's got to do something. He gets into second. And right now they're in a dead tie in the championship fight that would go the way of Henry Wheeler. Alex Stanfield won the win. Brandon Carr wants to find a way to get himself a championship. And he needs to get around the 18 to do it. He's faster. He's catching him. Can he get by him and keep him behind him to secure his title here? It's the Brit versus the American. Henry Wheeler under pressure. Look at Carr from two car lengths back. He dives to the inside in turn four, and he's got the lead. Brandon Carr, you're later now to the infield hairpin. Wheeler under pressure from Stanfield. And now he's going to try and drive away from Henry Wheeler. Has two car lengths over him as they head through the tightest section of the track. The last couple of corners, and look at this. Alex Stanfield makes the pass on Henry Wheeler. Move him up to P2, and this is amazing for Brandon Carr through turn number one this time by like we oh. thought oh there's Aiden Fox making a diving move down to the inside he won't make that one stick but he's gonna have another go into turn four and finally cleans it up so Aiden Fox gets through Keegan Bosch trying to follow couldn't do it now Bosch gonna block now he's gonna send it on to Lecky. Finn Bailiff trying to get around him. He'll get by. They'll bang tires. Bailiff gets through. Terlecki now three spots back. He falls back to the seventh position from fourth. So for Henry Wheeler to steal this title from Brandon Carr, he needs to follow Alex Stanfield. He needs to latch onto his bumper and go with them, and he's not doing that. He's losing ground to the GWR Gillard. Yeah, and here's the scenario, Xander. Stanfield gets to Carr, passes him, but Wheeler can't get by. Or, or Wheeler does get by. Even if he does, if it's Henry Wheeler P2, Carr P3, the championship still goes the way of Brandon Carr. Alex Stanfield is catching Brandon Carr. He has almost attached himself to the rear bumper of the number 15. Only a cart link separate the two. If he has to ride that low last weekend to get to here where he's got a chance at the win, he'd probably do it all over again and take that opportunity. Here into the right-hander. There it is for the lead. Alex Stanfield, Brandon Carr, side by side down the front straightaway. Alex Stanfield trying to hang on. Here comes Wheeler. He's going to pick Stanfield, of course, if he can get there, but they're on the limiter. Cars on the outside. Wheeler gets by. And now Alex Stanfield takes her to the low side in turn two. Aiden Fox setting up high, trying to get the crossover on Brandon Carr. It's not going to happen out of this corner. But Stanfield, the new leader, as Wheeler covers low from Carr. The top four still nose to tail, exiting the turn four, headed to the infield hairpin. Still Stanfield leading a diving move from Brandon Carr. He'll go back past Henry Wheeler and bring Aiden Fox with him. Fox is going to get by them both. Up to P2 for Aiden Fox. What a move by Aiden Fox and that was about as perfect as he needed. I mentioned a moment ago, he's running low on laps and he needed to get by three cars. He just got by two of them and he's the fastest driver on the racetrack. He's looking for win number two on the year. Forget the championship. Alex Stanfield looking for win number one. How hard is he going to fight to keep the 13 behind him? And for Brandon Carr, I don't know if he knew exactly what would happen, but he definitely did not want to finish behind Henry Wheeler. That dive bomb right there, basically clinching the championship. The gap was a tenth of a second at the line. Aiden Fox is flying here at the end of this OK in Maine. Here he goes, trying to get to the inside. Not going to happen. Stanfield's wide. Carr gets there. Here comes Wheeler. He wants to get back around Brandon Carr. Carr knows that he'll stay on the low side in the hairpin. 
Stanfield extremely deep on the brakes into turn number four. You saw the rear of the cart wiggling around as he locked the rears to keep Aiden Fox from passing him. And Brandon Carr throwing one down the inside of Aiden Fox into the last S. He's seen success with that move before. He won't see it this time. And Henry Wheeler gets back past him. So move Carr back to P4 and Wheeler up to P3. And Aiden Fox can't think about that. Can't let that frustrate or rattle him. Two to go for Alex Stanfield. And Stanfield has got the pressure from behind. Aiden Fox is there. Will he make a move into turn number two? He won't have the chance. Stanfield covers low, already going defensive, and Henry Wheeler back to the rear bumper. Aiden Fox, they're all sliding out of turn number two. Stanfield low to defend in turn number four. He's defending for everything he's got, and this will condense the entire top five now as Nicholas Torlecki's back on the scene. Stanfield still low lining. He's going to try and low line the rest of the track, but he comes out side by side with Aiden Fox. They are side by side through the yes is who's gonna get it unboxing who's through Stanfield off the racetrack Alex Stanfield goes mudding and now Henry Wheeler is into the lead this just changed the championship Brandon Carr had the title locked up had either Aiden Fox or Alex Stanfield won but this is gonna come down to the final lap Brandon Carr he needs to get by Henry Wheeler to win the championship Wheeler one lap to go in the season here comes Brandon Carr to the inside in turn one he'll take over the lead one lap left to fight two champions Championship contenders, one place at the top of the podium. And it's look at Nick Terlucky. Nick Terlucky just went to the outside and got to second. He's never won a 125 Pro race before. He's right there and he wants it. And Carr's going to go low to defend it at the start. And yes, he's low lines into the infield hairpin. And Henry Wheeler's going to come out side by side. There's some contact with Finnegan. Bailiff back behind, but out front is Brandon Carr leading the way through the S's ahead of Nick Terlecki. They've got a gap to Henry Wheeler behind. A couple of more corners. Brandon Carr, Nicholas Terlecki, Henry Wheeler. Who's going to get it done? Oh, Wheeler just moved uh, Terlecki out of the way. He's trying to get there. He's not going to. So close. More contact off. But Brandon Carr, it's going to be a drag race all the way down to the line Brandon Carr wins the race and the championship at OKN by one tenth of a second if it went the other way it, it would have been champion Henry Wheeler it could not have been closer one tenth of a second on the last lap of the race separates the title